I think the election outcome and particularly the numbers of people now saying they won't pay the water charge uh, is a big victory for the non-payment movement. Uh, none of this would be even on the agenda if people had paid. It's the fact that people didn't pay and continue to refuse to pay that make it an issue for the incoming government. So I think we have to continue with them um, building non-payment and encouraging people not to pay. I was looking for water charges to be abolished when I was campaigning. I'd like that to continue. I don't want to see Irish water. I don't want to see it be... I want to see people having the rights they already pay and I want to see that an end coming to these charges now. And Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil are not going to go into government and make a difference for people like Ireland austerity. I feel these people need to be addressed and their needs need to be looked after. We're outside Hayden's office today uh, protesting against the incoming government but we, we have to look at how we can replace that uh, with an alternative. So I think in the discussions now on the water charge movement and on the future of what we do over the next uh, couple of years because it's likely there'll be a, a, another election in a couple of years uh, that we, we look at putting together a platform that's opposed to water charges and the austerity measures but also as its starting point in not restricting itself to what Fianna Fáil will support. Uh, that means saying we won't do a coalition deal with Fianna Fáil, we won't do a coalition deal with Fianna, Fianna Gael, we want a real alternative to replace Labour which is now shattered in Kildare and rightly so. We're here today to remind uh, Martin Hayden and Sean O'Farrell that hundreds of thousands of people have not come out to the street uh, in order to get caps on their water charges, in order to be put in the long finger for five years. We can, hundreds of thousands of people have come out on the street and have rejected this government because they want water charges scrapped. And we're here today to remind them of that, that we will campaign to continue until water charges are scrapped. Thousands of people are now um, stopping their direct debits, they're refusing to pay and we're encouraging everybody now to boycott the water charges and sink them for good.